geeking. He was like staring at me out of his car window at the hill. Wow, this road is so smooth. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think the copper is gone now. I'm kind of surprised that my tinted visor like isn't that dark. I can still see like really well right now. Anti-social social club. What even does that mean, bro? I don't even know. A club for anti-social people that are being social amongst anti-social people. Is that what that mean? I don't see him back there anymore. I was at the Earth's smallest mirrors, so can't really see anything. It just has like headlights. Anyways. You being your own worst enemy is probably the biggest downfall as to why you can't get anything done with your life. It's like friction, constant friction. You're always beefing with yourself. Like telling yourself you're like bad at this or like, I don't know, just random negative shit that you always tell yourself. And you're probably like always beefing with your own self so you can never get shit done because you can't like work as a team with your own mind. How the fuck are you ever supposed to get anything done if you're constantly fighting with yourself, you know? So you gotta learn to be your own best friend and like lock in, bro. Come on, bro. All right, we get back on the highway. I need to go back home. I'm like tired, bro. That boy is flying. Why is everybody going so fucking fast, bro? But yeah, that's the quote of the day. You're either your own worst enemy or your biggest ally. You choose, man. You choose. Always be kind to yourself. It might sound kind of like cringe and shit, but always be kind to yourself because the so the self talk that you that you talk to yourself you know how you talk to yourself it really does matter even if you don't think it does you soak up everything you tell yourself constantly all day long you're constantly saying like oh you're you're weak or like you can't do that or I can't do that you won't ever be able to do it because you're always telling yourself that you can't you gotta like shift how you talk to yourself and it's crazy the amount of shit that you can start accomplishing yeah now I'm just that's kind of how I'm going to do the video, just like a little short snippet of it. Because I feel like when it's too much, it's, it's, it might get a little boring. So I want to keep it like fun and lighthearted. Also hit you guys with a little quote. That you guys can carry that through your day or night or whenever you watch this, I don't know. But, yeah, for the rest of this ride, I'm just going to be chilling on the highway. Um, it, this the road is like super bumpy. And this person's trolling in the left lane. Going 70 in the left lane. <laughs> Thanks, dog. Thanks, DTK! I appreciate you, bro! Wow, this road is like an ass massage. It's like super bumpy, dude. I'm getting like a free ass massage right now. Get a little deep cheek. Deep cheek. <laughs> deep cheek tissue massage right now, dude. <laughs> I'm getting so comfortable on this thing, and I'm kind of wishing that I got an R1, I'm not going to lie. Holy shit, these people are like merging into each other right here. I'm not fucking sitting next to both of these people, they're like, going to kill me, bro. It's like, I mean, the R6 is fast and it's fun, but dude, uh, it's just so, it feels tame. I want to feel a little scared when I get on the bike. Like, I'm like scared I might die a little bit. Of course I am scared that I might die a little bit, but... I mean, the R1 looking real nice. I'm not selling this bike, I literally just got it, but... I want to get either an R1... Or... A V4R. V4R is kind of like a crazy... Different level than R1 price-wise, but... One of those two bikes, when I switch from this to 1000... If I do. Uh, and I want to put that on the channel too. That'd be pretty sick. Or even like an S1000RR. But I want that cross plane, like that deep sound. I know the V4R doesn't have a cross plane in it. It's a V4. But the R1 has that cross plane, bro. That cross plane in line 4. Like, mmm, dude. Mmm. 
Yeah, and I mean, hey bro, if the channel blows up, not even blows up, but if I make money from the channel, I'm just going off the road, uh, I can probably use that to get a bike for you guys, you know, and get some new bikes and start showing off and getting some cool POVs or some new bikes. But yeah, an R1 would be crazy, dude. Like, bro, why is this guy fucking flying, bro? Where's everybody gotta be? Honestly, I feel like I can wear the tinted visor at night. It's like really not that dark in here. Dude, it is extremely windy. Like, I can't even go in a straight line, windy. Ram truck. I feel like some people have trucks and like don't need them, bro. Like they only like trailer something once every year. Or they like you like live in a city, bro. What do you use a truck for? If you like work for, oh, that, yeah, that's kind of a dumb statement. If you work for uh, like construction or some shit like that, then that makes sense. But it would be like working in the office and getting like a big ass truck, like bro. It, I don't get it. I mean. This is probably, they could probably say the same thing about getting a bike too, to be honest. Like, this makes no fucking sense either, but I still do it. I ain't hating, bro. Do what you want, I don't care. Anyways, back to the bikes though. I was wanting to get an S1K because you could put them in like the brain mode or whatever it's called, where it's like, that guy just blew his smoke all over me, bro. You could put them in like the rain mode where it's super tame, but it was also like 22K for S1K, so <laughs> yeah, bro, that's not gonna work. So I didn't get an S1K, but I was gonna put it, if I did, I was gonna put it in rain mode and ride it in, in rain mode until I got like comfortable and then like slowly, you know, like slowly is like blowing me off of the road and then like slowly work my way through the different modes until I got comfortable on it but I just ended up getting an R6 because I, I dude I love this bike so much it sounds amazing it looks absolutely stunning it's a 600 so it's small and it's pretty chill pretty chill <laughs> it's a it's still an insane motorcycle but I mean, I've gotten very comfortable very fast on here. And obviously, I'll probably get humbled, but I don't know if I'm gonna crash, but I'll probably get humbled like something, I don't know. I'm actually not gonna put that in out there, you know, like into the fucking wild and just be like, I'm probably gonna get speed wobbles. Like, bro, I'm not about to speak that into existence, bro. Hell no. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get either an R1 or a V. Not even just a V4R, a but just like a V4 as like the first 1000 I get. I know that those Italian bikes are like expensive as hell maintenance wise. Like it's already, like the V4R is like 30k or some shit for like a used one, like 34 or something. And then like you have to do maintenance on it, like the clutches. I think I've seen it that has to be replaced every like 2,000 miles, which is like literally insane. Yeah, which is just like, that is, and the clutch, like the, the job to get a new clutch is expensive as hell. I don't even know how much it is, but it's definitely, it's definitely some G's boy, some K's in there, some G's and some K's, so. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get a, a V4 just yet, but we'll have to see what the finances are looking like. But an R1 might be in, boy. It's like, oh, dude. I don't really need a 1000, but I mean, they're just, I just love the sound of the R1. I think that might be one of my favorite sounding bikes of all time, if not my favorite. Cause it's just so oh, beautiful, dude. I know a lot of people like the V4. I mean the RSV4 over the R1, but I don't know, dude. I think looks-wise, even though the RSV4 is an Italian bike, the R1's still kind of got it, boy. Some Japanese beauty.
I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe in a couple of years or like a year, we'll have some crazy bike for the channel. Which should be dope. I don't know. I don't know if, if I could choose. Like if, if money wasn't an option and I could get an R1 or, or a V4. Or let's just say I could get a an R1M or a V4R. And if money wasn't an option, bro, that would low-key be a hard decision. I think I'd have to go with the V4R, though. The R1 and the R1M are beautiful, but, dude, come on, bro. I think the V4R, not even the V4R, but just the V4, was probably the most beautiful-looking bike. The S1K comes pretty close, especially, like, the new one with the winglets. I know a lot of people don't like them. It's like, well, I guess it's probably half and half, but I like the winglets. I like them on there. Some people don't like them, some people do, but I like them. I don't know, we'll see. For now, I'm chilling with the R6. This thing is insane, I love this bike. But yeah, let me know what you guys, what your dream bikes are in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you guys have versus what you wanna get, or maybe you already have your dream bike. I don't know, let me know. I'm curious to see what everybody's dream bikes are. Because there's so many bikes, dude. The fuck is this person honking at me for? What the fuck was that for? Calm your ass down, boy. I think I was gonna like roll into them like what? What are they fucking honk at me? <laughs> Bro, people some people amaze me, dude, I swear. Like the things that go through some people's heads is just wild to me, bro. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you guys kinda like the newer styles. That's it for today's video though. Uh leave a like, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> uh and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.